I know doctors here are studying for step two, a lot of them for step one still. So whatever you need, these are things that I'm showing you. Like for example, for behavioral science, you need to know this. I went over it through my, through when we did behavioral science the other day. Uh, neural points, these are easy, right? We talked about this. We have different types of tumors. We have ones that are adults and ones that happen only in kids. So if they give you an age, which they will, you automatically know which ones you're looking for, right? And then it's above the tent, below the tent, supratentorial, infratentorial. I focus on this because this used to give me problems as a student. I'm like, oh, cancers. I don't know which one's which. Make it easy. Age and, and, and location are top two variables for the majority of cancers, right? Just very simple, okay? You have age, location. So when it comes to, let's say, respiratory, like, like, like lung cancers, think about it. We have location, central versus periphery. Yeah. We have ones that happen more in non-smokers versus smokers. So use these criteria to focus on all the cancers in every organ system. So I put a lot of photos here. Um, I like this section because, you know, I, I know what areas people are lacking because it just never, it's never a shock. It always happens year after year. So I do my best to provide pictures, whether it's in first aid, AMBOSS, anywhere I find online, have a team looking through many, many things for me. I give them my criteria and then I just have them upload it or I, I upload it. Like for example, loop diuretics, we did this in renal. You should know MOAs and adverse effects. Same thing with thiazides, that happened here. Yeah, these are thiazides, boom. This hypergluc is huge, hypergluc, G-L-U-C. So if you take a thiazide, you know, if I, if I prescribe somebody thiazides, hydrochlorothiazide, for example, or these types of drugs, because this is the main one, but you need to know these are also thiazides, they will cause high sugar, glycemia, high lipids, lipidemia, high uric acid, hyperuricemia, high calcium in the blood, hypercalcemia. It's interesting. So, so if you give this somebody who had gout, would it make it worse? Yes because it can cause uricemia, right? 